I did want to ask you about. <laughs> what, I'm sorry. That's what, okay. Joe usually does what do you that. think about the state of Chicago rap these days? Chicago rap. Um, you know, I think we always got pioneers in Chicago. We've had a lot of different, um, a lot of different waves, and um, I'm excited to see and kind of waiting to see if there's a new. If, there, if there's a new thing coming out of Chicago, but you know, I'm, like a new I'm movement, all, like some new artists, okay. some new artists, because you know, when when me and Chance were coming up doing our thing in the city, heavy, I mean, we've had a whole like a whole movement of artists from all different angles, you know, and uh, then you had Drill as a scene that was like. Everybody was biting their flows all over. Um, and right now, I'm just, you know, peeping to see if, if there's something new coming out of Chicago. That's all. Do you feel Drill is, like, done? Because you also mentioned that you, you felt you were a little bit repulsed by the fact that so many people outside the culture of Chicago, they, were, they hyped up the music not knowing that real lives were being affected, deaths and other type of madness happened within the music. And the music was a real-life depiction of that. Like, how did you, how did you feel about that? I wanted to slap you in your face, yeah. honestly. And Ooh. I'm just seeing you here, so I'm like, this is a tame environment, so I would keep it to my words. But I really felt as if people exactly like you sensationalized and and made a following off of clowning situations that we go through in real life. And I, I think, you know, niggas ain't had no right. You know, you specifically, like, you ain't never have a right. Like, whatever made you feel like you had a, a space to have a perspective on our people dying on a daily basis? Okay, can I respond? That's a joke so, okay. to you? So, when I saw a Drill, and, and you could definitely chime in, when I saw a Drill, Drill was, was so hyped up by everyone, I had to give a different perspective of what that was for people to realize that's not cool. And whether you agreed with it, right? And again, you're very close, you're involved in it. Um, Chief Keef didn't like me, Dirk didn't like me. I mean, I think they grew to understand that the content was not just negative, right? No, it, it was clowning, it, it was just negative, man. No, no, no. Like, come on, boy. You, like, you don't I'm, think I'm, it was nothing constructive about it? There was nothing constructive about it. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, I, 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 really, I really think you a bitch because- In what, what sense? Because there's a video that, that you put up about a person named Trey 57 making all these jokes. Oh, here's another Chirac Savage. Like, this guy's stupid. He messed with the Grim Reaper. Like, nigga, this is not a video game. That's a nigga I grew up with. I've known since I was five years old. And to see you come on the internet and, like, with this corny-ass little voice and make jokes about it, like, you know, I was waiting to see you. And it's a couple people waiting to see you. I heard you say you didn't want to come to Chicago when I sat down, because you clearly no. don't, because you no, really couldn't even stand outside. You get Not chased out wait, the mall. Wait, I do get love in Chicago, though. You like, get I mean, chased I mean, out I mean, the mall, I'm, DJ Academics. I mean, truth be told, there's a mixed reaction you to You know you can't deal with that. You not you Wait, so, so you act like there's no love for me in Chicago? No. And, I, I and, wish I had a no. And you need <laughs> to. I wouldn't have put you in that seat. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sat there. No, no, no. I, I'm, 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 I'm following. When no, you I'm, talk I'm, about I'm, real niggas, man, no, from I'm, a real I'm, place, I'm, you I'm, need I'm, to follow, watch your I mouth. follow Vic. I follow the Chicago scene. The Chicago scene, I've covered a lot. The, 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 here's where I disagree with you with, right? I understand. <laughs> no. I can't tell my part? No, you can't. Okay, no, no, no. So, so I disagree that it was just all clowning. Right now, there's satire used, right? And I know exactly what you're talking about. It's Warren Shot Right, by the way, if you guys don't know. But I always had that positive message. Yo, y'all gotta cut but it out. Satire Even, is a form of clowning. No, no, yeah, but it's not on some like with no type of responsibility. Always offered zero advice. Zero responsibility. Satire man. That's like when you sitting in your fucking. Wait, zero responsibility you know when I'm offering yeah, advice at times, and I'm offering and advice. Who made you eligible to even weigh in? You sitting at a computer jacking everybody off, weighs in. fucking typing. Wait, wait, wait. Typing everybody weighs real, in on everything. Typing about real life. You talking about real shit. What Do, you know about that, bro? No, doesn't everybody what, weigh in on everything? You, not in that way. You really built a following off of clowning our deaths, people that I really know. And you know what's fucked up about it and why I said the things I said to you is because were we to be in a room, there's no cameras, there's no security, you see us, you wouldn't make no jokes. You wouldn't make a single joke. 
Well, first of all, I, I, I gave I gave an outside perspective. Would you make a joke? Would you make a joke? A joke if, about if, what? No, that, you okay, make, give me. Some hey, don't joke. waste no. my camera time. He wouldn't make the joke. You wouldn't make the we joke. Wouldn't make the joke. So no, don't wait, just be you, sitting like a little, like a fucking, you know, like a like an internet gangster. No, with, no, to, talking I've about never like make, making making. I don't fucking, think you understand me. Truth be told. Because well, I don't, I never portray myself. Well, I do, and show, the reason I say that is because you. those are ballsy things to say that you said. Those are ballsy things to say, not coming from a ballsy person. Pause. But those are those are brave things to say, and I don't take you for a brave man. I really think that that's cowardice. I think that entire perspective that I'm gonna make a life off of joking about these yeah, young black men it. killing each other. That's that's coward shit, man. And yeah. you wouldn't say it wait, to wait, nobody wait, wait. Hold when on, the cameras Let me, let me ask you a question. So. So you expect me to cover drill music, everything around it, but not co like how, how do you told, cover that? Who told you to make a, a video series? You're not even from Chicago, called I'll, War and Shot Rack, where you go into the smallest details of like murders. What is that like? That's you know what? That's just like that's parasitic. That's what they do to our culture from the outside, and that's exactly what you do to our culture from the outside. I cover music, dude. I have that's a not music. You can't, I'm talking you can't about, have a series called not, War and Shirak. That's, that's, that's not music. That's not music. I'm talking about where you think you you you're like basically one of those little kids that makes like fan fiction on the internet and they just like create these worlds about people they don't even know. It's just kind of sick when it's real people dying young. I'm at those funerals. I just left one of those funerals on Friday. You feel me? From a 22 year old shot five times on 61st Street, and that's something that you would take. I'm happy would, he wasn't a rapper, so you wouldn't clown him. Cause Trey, why that's would, my, why, why? Nigel was my fucking brother. That's okay. my brother I grew up with since age five. And to see you clown him, and I know you wouldn't clown him if you ever saw us outside of a safe, controlled environment. Man, that's some whole shit. I don't but we should just move on. We should move on. Yeah. To be honest, I'm sorry. I didn't know this. No, 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 no. It's fine. I didn't fine. know this was a point of contention. You I, I was going to chill. Was, he asked me about no, no, what no, I no. think no, about no, no, niggas no, no, doing no, that. He moved back to it. No, no, right. I, no, I always, no, I always got to ask because. No, I've, you don't. Let's move man, on. We done. Yo, let me let's, speak. Let's, no, no, let me speak. You spoke. Nigga, shut up. Listen. I had to ask that because I, I that's something I've been interested in. You've always been very conscious and outspoken on that, so I always got to ask. I mean, even, even if it's a, even if it's a disagreement or a point at me, it it's sounds fine. like there's nothing yeah, else it's to fine. say, right? No, hell no. Okay. It was well worded. <laughs> Shit, I thought he did a good job. Let's get to it. All right. I, I should have been in that seat to, though. <laughs> you still feel good to dress yeah. Okay. All right, that's taking an unexpected turn. Um, you articulate so. yourself well. <laughs> Thank you. Smart kid. 